What's up, Raft Gang? Welcome back to another reaction. Now, this here, I, I'm really curious about. Um, I don't know if you guys have been to Arlington National Cemetery. It's out in Washington, D.C. It's a giant monument of fallen heroes, right? It's a place that I've worked at when I uh, during my time in the Navy. I was a ceremonial guard. Uh, I was a body bearer, a casket bearer, a casket team member. Uh, so this is kind of where I worked every day for a year and a half. I did uh, funerals for... I mean, up at Admirals and all below. I've done it all in my time there. Uh, but there's a section in Arlington where the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is. And that's uh, protected by uh, Army army personnel. And uh, to be a, a, you know, a, a sentinel, they call them, to guard the Tomb of the Unknown, you have to be elite. Elite of the elite. These guys train their bodies. They train their mind. They're committed 24-7 to protecting this thing. And anyone dares trespass or cross the line, they're dealt with. But if you uh, if you get a chance to go see it, it is just incredible sight to behold. These guys have this perfect, perfect perfection of twenty one steps and the the turn and the flip of the of the gun and the the placement of it and the I mean just perfect form. It's just crazy. And every hour. Uh, they rotate. They're relieved of uh, their their duty at that time, so the you know commander comes out and yells all these things and formations, and they and he inspects them and makes sure everything's perfect, and then and then they someone else takes over, right? And they just keep doing. It. I mean, it's twenty four seven, guys. I mean, twenty four seven. So, as you can see there, of all the people there, if anyone crosses that border, I mean, they they have complete authority to take them out. I mean, just I don't know what happens. I've never been fortunate enough to see it, but someone here has some footage of it. Um, so just a small snippet of this video. This is on Binge Central. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to see this video in full. He tried to mess with a Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Guard. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is one of the most continuously guarded monuments in the world, patrolled by an elite group of sentinels that are highly trained in a superb physical condition, ready at a moment's notice to defend the honor of fallen war heroes. So what makes the old guard of the tomb of the unknown soldier so feared and respected? And what happens when people push the boundaries and try to mess with one of the guards? Let's find out. Indeed, let's find out. Here we go, guys. <laughs> perfect uniforms, perfect everything. Rifles there. Crazy. Here we go. Get behind the rail! The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is one of the most continuously guarded monuments in the world. It's patrolled 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, regardless of Amazing. the weather, by an elite regiment of soldiers known as Sentinels. These Sentinels are highly trained specialists in superb physical condition, ready at a moment's notice to defend the honor of fallen war heroes. So what makes the old guard of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier so feared and respected? And what happens when people push the boundaries and try to mess with one of the guards. Let's find out. <laughs> The Old Guard is essentially ceremonial special forces, yeah, and despite their seemingly mundane job, they represent the very best of the best the Army can offer. It's so elite that less than 20% of all volunteers are accepted for training, and of those, only a fraction pass training to become... One thing I want to say is, when they do their turns, there's these uh, metal plates inside their, their shoes, and when they put their feet together, it makes a clap. And it's loud too. And they make sure those snaps and claps are very, very loud. And it just embodies the entire, you know, ceremony that they do. This is fantastic. Even when they flip their gun, you hear that pop and then lightly put on their shoulder. It's just, just perfection, perfection. Some fully fledged tomb guards. In fact, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Guard Identification Badge is the third least awarded badge in the entire United States Army, wow. behind military horseman ID badges and astronaut badges. Wow. To become a tomb guard, an old guard soldier must volunteer by applying for appointment to the tomb through the sergeant of the guard. To be considered for an appointment, the soldier must be wow. highly motivated and disciplined, and possess a strong military bearing and soldierly appearance. If appointed, the soldier is assigned to the tomb 
home for an initial oh. two-week training period. Upon reporting to a relief, the trainee is assigned a tomb guard trainer. The trainer informs the trainee of what is expected of them, including following strict rules, training guidelines, and the need for complete dedication and commitment to the tomb. The training oh. cycle is intense, consisting of a series of five exhaustive tests over six to 12 months. These tests focus on ceremonial performance, uniform preparation, and knowledge. If the trainee completes the training cycle and passes the test, they are able to flawlessly conduct seven different types of ceremonies, meet oh, the sweet. highest standards of uniform preparation, and recite 35 pages of information without error. If the trainee fails any test, they are assigned back to their company. The successful trainee mm. is awarded the Tomb Guard Identification Badge and will be from then on referred to as a Tomb Guard or Badge Holder by their fellow Sentinels, demonstrating how serious a I've role never this seen is a, considered a, a, a female do this. Tomb wow. Guard Identification Badge is the only military badge that can be revoked for any action that brings disrespect to the tomb. The Unknown Soldier. On the 11th of November, 1921, That's what I did. I was the a remains of an unknown right American soldier were returned from the battlefields of France. Unidentified remains weren't uncommon during World War I, and without DNA profiling or reliable ways to match the list of missing soldiers with the discovered corpses, many bodies were simply marked as unknown. Hmm. For this reason, the U.S. government approved the construction of a memorial in the Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, United States. This would be the final resting place of the returned unknown soldier and would serve as a monument to all deceased military personnel who were either lost or the remains never identified. The remains of the unknown soldier were interred beneath a three-level white marble tomb covered Ooh. in a stone slab. Intricate carvings decorate the sides, including wreaths and figures representing peace, victory, and valor. The rear of the sarcophagus includes an inscription which reads, Here rests in honored glory an American soldier known but to God. Hmm why you shouldn't mess with a tomb guard. While the role of the sentinel is mostly ceremonial, there are some things you just don't do when visiting the tomb of the unknown soldier. The old guards will appear strong and silent, that is, until you break one of their rules. Cross over the barrier into the plaza and you'll probably hear this. So fat. Brendan. Let all visitors remain behind the changing rails at all times. Thanks. Remain behind the changing rails. Ooh, getting serious. Uh-oh. Oh, to have the perseverance of a soldier. Most of us flinch when our friends pretend to swing a rubber band at us, but not this tough guy. Oh, During God, no. Shift, the soldier flipped his bayonet, but it accidentally slipped right out of his hand. Unfortunately for the other soldier, it went front side down, so the knife actually went into the foot of the soldier. Watch how he barely flinches. Later on, you can see a little blood trickling from his boot. Ouch. Ooh. Yeah, don't think about the pain. Slow mode of blood. Oh boy. Water bottle rolling. When a water bottle rolls out of your hand, you try to oh. catch it. But what happens when it rolls directly towards the path of patrolling soldiers performing their duties near a soldier's wake? Exactly this. Watch as the bottle rolls out and just sits in the path for minutes to pass. The funniest thing happens when the soldier kicks the rolling bottle off of his path. Have a look. Uh-oh. Get that out of here. <laughs> now where is it? Now who gets it now? Oh, it's between them? No. Look at that. I know exactly how many steps they take. Jeez. Guy tries to cross rails. And now, what not to do when your water bottle rolls off in the path of uh -oh. active performing hey. soldiers. At a ceremony, all the people were standing behind the railing, but this guy's bottle chose the worst time to slip out of his hand. He quickly tries to grab it, but it ends up moving past the railing. He gets an earful by the standing guard soldier. Watch how loud he gets. Two of the unknown soldiers. A ceremony that you are a... They've requested that all visitors remain behind the changing rail. 
It is requested. It's remain behind the railing at all times. <laughs> That's a full house there. Roasted. Some places just maybe don't need kids that are known to be disrespectful or have a hard time processing simple requests. During this guard changing duty, a guard lets the kids know, with his loud and clear voice, that this is a guard changing ceremony, and a simple request out of respect is that they all remain silent and behind the railing and chain. Seems like he has to say this way too many times because people don't really listen. He stops mid-march to let a few kids know that they are standing outside of the railing and must step back. It is requested that all visitors remain behind the chains and rails. The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. In keeping with the dignity of this ceremony, mm -hmm. it is requested that everyone remain silent and standing. He messed with the wrong guard. It is honestly not so hard to follow orders with simple instructions, but these guys don't know that apparently. As the guards are preparing for the guard changeover, some people cross the railing and chain and came up the stairs literally feet away from the tomb. The guards are on high alert, especially on days like the 4th of July. <laughs> when he saw the people, he quickly Look at the little rabbit down there. Action mode Look at the little bunny. went into action. At one point in the video, he even seems to be reloading and cocking the rifle. He definitely isn't the guard to mess with. Remain behind the chains and rails! Yeah, this is the this is the video we just saw. It's a good one. Behind the chain and rail. Someone drops their stuff. Rule number one when drops visiting their a stuff. high guarded area: Do not have things in your hand that you have a chance of dropping. Someone clearly dropped something and didn't even realize it until the patrolling guard literally stops and tells the person to remove their belongings from the floor. I don't know about you guys. I'd be really embarrassed if I was being told off by a patrolling guy mm -hmm. in front of so many people. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Mm -hmm. your items from the closet. Yeah, remove your trash. Huh? Boy imitates guards. Some kids know what they want to be when they grow up, and this kid, he just wants to be a sentinel. It's an adorable sight as the kid stands on the stairs, ready and waiting for the guard to start marching. Soon enough, he tucks an umbrella under his arm and stands in a ready position and joins the guards in steps. It is surely a heartwarming moment. Yep. Like, I know what I want to be. I'm going to do that. I stood on that plasma plaza for the chain, uh, the wreath laying, wreath laying ceremony. I was on there for President Clinton's wreath laying. Another ceremony, I was actually up Guard on those steps holding one of the flags. Over and not over, sure what the it was. same pattern repeats. It's and then you walk right by me. It's become a normal practice to hand out the rules of being at the presence of our respected soldiers and the tombs they guard. How hard is it to know that you must be respectful at these times, and why is it apparently the hardest thing to understand for these people? Towards the end, the crowd starts making some noise. Oh, perfectly and manicured bushes and trees and all these things. The into his own hands Beautiful and landscape. Watch how he shuts it down. Too noisy. It is requested that all visitors maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect at all times. An atmosphere of silence and respect tourist. at all times. Another day, another disrespectful visitor at the Tomb of the Unknown. And would you look at that? Again, a slip bottle. What exactly is it with these slipping bottles? As if they're drenched in oil. Have a tighter grip, would you? Some would call this being rude, but it is just a standard procedure. Do not visit a place with distinct rules if you don't want to follow them. Watch how the guard addresses the crowd. Do not cross the rail! <laughs> Silence and respect at all times. It's fantastic. 
They mean business at the Tomb of the Unknown. Don't mess around. But fantastic place uh, to check out and uh, see it in action, especially the, the changing of the guard. So it's every half hour, which is nice. I thought it was an hour. So you'd be able to see it uh, relatively soon, as soon as you arrive. Well, guys, thanks for watching this uh, reaction of uh, what not to do at the Tomb of the Unknown. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, share, and see the next one. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See you guys.